Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Gulp full tutorial series for absolute beginners. Today is part three and today we are learning about Gulp plugins. Today we will not be coding anything because like I mentioned in the previous episode, this episode and the next episode is the fundamentals that you should know definitely before working with Gulp. So today we'll talk about plugins, what are plugins, what are the available plugins, where can you find them and much more. All right, so Gulp plugins are nothing but no transform streams basically. All right, so what it means is that Gulp is written in JavaScript on top of Node platform and they utilize something called Node transform streams. Now, what do we mean by streams? Streams means they will sit in between the source method and the destination method and they will help us transform the files, the data, and all the things that are required. As we move in the series, you will regularly see me writing code and using the method source and destination. So anything that goes in between those two is what the plugins will help us do it. There are more than 4,000 plugins available and which can help us you know, automate most of the development activities that we need on a day-to-day -day basis in any project. These plugins, again, there are no fixed rules as to why and which plugin you should use. These are flexible based on your project. Some of the common routine plugins that we use are for renaming files, concatenating files, cleaning files, running, CSS minification, JavaScript minification, CSS preprocessor files, compiling JS, hot reloading, watching, Promisify, much, much more. You can find the complete list of plugins at gulpjs.com slash plugins. These are all the available plugins. More than 4,300 plugins are available. You can search anything that you want, let's say JS. So these are all the things that are related to JavaScript. Now, if you look for something else, let's say JSON, you can find all the JSON formatter, etc., etc. Same way for React, same way for Angular, same way for Vue, and much, much more. All right. So basically, anything that you want to do in the front end side to speed up the regular development routine activities, you can use that particular Gulp plugin. All right. So those that is the overview that I want to give you. All the tasks that I mentioned here will be using some or the other kind of plugins going forward. So when you see me adding some plugin, do not get confused. That's from the repository. That's from the approved list of plugins that everybody uses. All right. Now, that's all you should know about Gulp plugins today. And in the next episode, I will give you a quick overview of Gulp tasks. And then we start writing the actual starting the tasks, automation and all of such things. I'm covering these so that you have your fundamentals clear and the basic knowledge that is required. I hope you're enjoying this series. If you are, please do hit that like button for me and do subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. See you in the next episode.